Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video, we'll continue to learn about pre-processing in scikit-learn. In previous video, we looked at the intuition behind the K-Bins discretizer. In this video, we'll look at the actual implementation in Jupyter Notebook. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. Here I've imported two libraries, NumPy and pre-processing from sklearn and these are the versions that i'm using now for data we just have this one array x uh, f, and now we'll first uh, work with ordinal encoding so let's try that ordinal and similar to the code snippet that i've shown in the previous video here we use the same method so we first create the variable est and initialize it uh, using preprocessing dot k bins discretizer and within this we can specify the bins so n bins and here if you remember the number of um, uh, the length of the n bins depends on the number of columns so here we have four columns so we need to specify four values i'm going to specify four three uh, two and two as the so four bins for the first column which is this one minus one four zero and then three for the next one and so on after n bins we need to specify encode so this uh, the first we'll try encoding using ordinal and then uh, the strategy so if you remember there are three strategies uniform um, there is uniform quantile and k means so here we are going to use the uniform which will divide the bins uh, of equal sizes and once we have that we can also add a fit here so est dot fit x and that's, that's my mistake so it should be encode now we can go ahead and apply this to transform but before that let's see what information the you know, in variables we have so far has so if you type est dot n underscore bins it gives us the bins that are there for each of the features or each of the columns the so four for first one third three for second column and so on in addition to this we can also get the bin ages so if you type est dot bin underscore edges and if you look at the bin edges for the first column we have these uh, these bin edges and then similarly we can go ahead and find the bin edges for all the columns so this is first column and similar to this we can get the bin edges for the remaining three columns so let's go ahead and try that uh, here i'm going to change the index so zero one two and three and now when we run this uh, this is for the second column this is for the third column this is for the fourth column and these are the uh, uh, bin edges or uh, the bins that we'll be using for uh, putting the data from the array x now when we transform this array x that we have so est dot transform x so when we do the transformation this is the final uh, end result that we have now the way this binning works is uh, let's look at this because this is an ordinal binning it means that the data is uh, put in an order so unlike one hot encoding here the order can be any integer so st starting with 0 1 2 uh, 3 and so on and so forth so the first uh, let's look at the first column this is our first column that we have and in this column we have the bin edges as minus 1 to 0 0.25 so for minus 1 we'll consider it is this as minus infinity to 0 0.25 and if we look at our first data point this data point is uh, 1 so it does not fall in this bin range but it does fall in this bin range so this would be bin range number one this is range zero one two and three because it's ordinal and then again this is the range of uh, bin number zero bin number one bin number uh, two 
so uh, when we look at the output the transformed output the number one from our input array is put in this bin range that goes from 0.25 to 1.5 and therefore because that bin range has a number one uh, we get a one here in the output similarly we look at minus one minus one in is in the very first bin which is zero and therefore we have a zero index then uh, the next one is four four is in the last bin so that one is zero one two and then three and therefore we have a three here and finally we have digit zero zero is in this bin range which is the very first one and therefore we have a zero here similarly if we look at the last column so which is four minus four one one the bins that are for draws comma are these so we have two bins and therefore the output is going to be either zero or one now the first number is four four is in this bin range so zero and one so it's in one and therefore we get one in the output minus four is in the very first bin range and therefore we get a zero and then finally for uh, these one and one uh, they will be in this bin range and therefore we have one one as in the output array that we have so that's how the ordinal encoding works for um, uh, ordinal encoding works in this case now moving on let's look at how we can use one hot encoding so the method is same i'm going to copy this entire thing and put it here and the only change i'm going to make is change the word ordinal to one hot so let's do that one hot encoding and for this one hot now once we have this we can again look at the bins and to do that i'll go ahead and copy this so we don't have to type it again and as you can see these are the bins that were created for uh, using the because it's uniform encoding we have the same bins as before but now the encoding is going to be different because we are using one hot uh, method for encoding and let's go ahead and do the transformation so xt will store the transform matrix in xt est dot transform x and x we can specify xt dot two array and open close parenthesis if you just specify xt uh, this is the sorry transform so we get this uh, output and then to see the array we need to specify two array and this is the output we have again let's put the x array down here so that you can see it easily uh, let's see how the one hot encoding is done here first thing to notice is the total number of columns in the output array equals the total number of bins that are created so here we have a total of four plus three that is seven and seven plus two nine and nine plus two eleven so there should be eleven columns here we have 5 plus 2 5 and then we have again 5 plus 2 5 and 1 11 so for first column there will be four columns in the output transformed array because there are four different bins that uh, we had specified so the first value is 1 and 1 is in this bin range from 0.5 to 1.5 and therefore uh, that particular value would be one in the second column so that's why we have a one here so this column the first column is bin range minus infinity to 0.25 the second column is 0.25 to 1.25 and then the third column is 1.5 to 2.75 fourth column is 2.75 onwards to in plus infinity and therefore uh, we have the one this one is flagged as one in the second column because in the second bin right here next let's look at minus one minus one falls in this bin and therefore we have uh, one in the first position and all others are zero four 
is in the last bin so we see that one here in the last position and the first three numbers are zero and then finally we have a zero here uh, so which falls in the very first bin therefore we have one here and remaining three are zeros similarly if we look at let's take the column number three this time and column number three would be uh, it has two bins and so those two bins would be these two uh, the these two columns and if you look at number three number three is uh, falls in this bin range uh, sorry my mistake it falls in this bin range which is the second one so this is going to be one right here and this one is zero then minus three falls in the first one which is right here and therefore we have one here and the second one is zero and finally two and zero fall again in this bin and therefore we have one and one in the second one uh, which corresponds to zero and three and zeros in the very first bin range which is from minus infinity to zero so these are zero so that's how the one hot encoding works now let's look at the strategy quantile in the previous video we had discussed how the quantile uh, strategy creates bins and now we'll see the actual implementation of that the method is the same uh, as for the uniform i'm going to copy this uh, lines of code paste it here because it's exactly the same the only change we would have to do is can you replace the word uniform by the word quantile so we've copied this and this would then become quantile and now when we run this uh, we can get the bins so these are the bins for the first column and when we run this we get the arrays uh, again these are one hot encoded because that's the encoding we have chosen and if you look at x this is our original array now uh, same way as uh, we discussed above uh, the one hot encoding is in the similar fashion so one two three and four so we have four columns in the output array which belong to the first column because there are four bins and similarly number one uh, falls in this uh, it falls in this bin so 0 1 and 2 and therefore uh, we have 0 1 and 2 so we have in the third bin we have 1 there all other uh, values are 0 next minus 1 falls in the very first bin so we have 1 there and the remaining three uh, columns are 0 4 falls in the last column and therefore we have 1 here and the three columns before that are zero and finally number zero falls in the range which is the second one so zero one and therefore we have a one one right here and there are two zeros after that and so on and so forth for the remaining columns so that's how the quantile strategy works if we were to look at the uh, k-mean strategy it would be exactly the same so let me copy this and paste it here so this would be k k means and okay, let's um, create a markdown and paste this here and if we now go ahead and do est dot transform x and i'm going to change this to k means uh, and here we need to specify dot two array so this is the output we get for k means and the bins again will be different for this so let's go ahead and copy this and paste this here so as you can see there are different bins created for uh, when we use the strategy k means that was it for this video i hope in this and the previous video you learned uh, what is what the what are the different types of k bins clustering uh, sorry k bins discretize discretize methods that can be used and within this you we have uh, three different strategies uniform uh, quantile and k means that can be used for creating the bins in the next video we'll continue to look at some of uh, a few more methods 
uh, one is column transformer and then uh, finally we look at binarize method which is equivalent to uh, using uh, k value of two so two bins zero or one please like share and subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you